Hyderabad based India space tech startup Skyroot Aerospace will launch India's first privately developed launch vehicle later today as part of the firm's maiden mission Prarambh. Skyroot Aerospace actually wrote on Twitter that the firm received authorization from InSpace after final checks on readiness and weather were completed. That's right, Parmesha. The film, uh, this uh, firm is launching its rocket Vikram S as part of the mission, and that's going to take place at about 11:30 from Sri Harikota. Vikram S uh, will carry three customer payloads and launch from the Indian Space Research Organization's launch pad at Sri Harikota. Vikram S will take off, and that, like we said, is going to happen at 11:30 a.m. Uh, proud of, like you mentioned, it actually means beginning. It's a first of the Indian private space sector. And NDTV Sam Daniel sent us this report. It's being called India SpaceX Movement, and it will be a first for India at 11:30 this morning if everything goes well, as India's first private sector manufactured and designed satellite launch vehicle Vikram S would lift off from Sri Harikota. It's designed by a Hyderabad-based startup called Skyroot Aerospace. And the entire launch will be over in less than five minutes. In fact, it's a demonstration launch, which means it would not go up to the full altitude, altitude of around 500 kilometers as other launch vehicles would normally do. But this one would just touch a maximum altitude of 81.5 kilometers in less than two minutes. And the splashdown or the fall would be over in less than five minutes. In fact, it carries three payloads, and this mission, being a demonstration mission, will also test some of the technologies which the company would use for its successive launches. In fact, uh, the startup has already raised around 526 crore rupees, and they have plans to launch a series of such missions in the years to come. In fact, I spoke to Dr. Pavan Goenka, the chairman of Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center in space. I began asking him, what would this mean to India? Uh, and uh, today, what's happening tomorrow is a very major milestone for us because this is the first ever uh, rocket launch by an Indian private player uh, that is happening ever. Uh, and that, uh, that even though even the rocket itself is is uh, uh, very small compared to what ISRO is used to, but uh, since it is being done by the private player, it has a very high significance. Uh, and world over, as you know, that uh, most of the commercial launches are done today by private players and not by space agencies. And that's what we are starting, in a sense, uh, with this launch. And therefore, significance of this is very high. Dr. Goenka, do you think at some point India would have its own SpaceX-like mission of Elon Musk? Well, that question gets asked often enough, uh, <laughs> whether <laughs> India will have its own SpaceX. And I would want to say yes, but don't expect it tomorrow or uh, in a month or a year. Uh, SpaceX, as you know, took long time to get to where they are with billions and billions of dollars of investment. Uh, India will also get there, uh, but, uh, uh, but this is just a first baby step. Uh, and and uh, uh, we shouldn't start uh, looking, comparing to SpaceX or anything like that. Uh, we need to take our own path to get to that point. Will the private players have a free hand in designing and exploration or are they bound by certain restrictions? Yes, uh, so the, the space policy is not yet uh, uh, launched. It will be very soon. But uh, uh, the draft policy, which is available in public domain, uh, clearly uh, indicates that uh, <clears throat> that uh, there'll be hardly any restriction on the private sector. Uh, of course, the space is a very sensitive uh, area and has a very strategic importance, security importance. So there will be some checks and balances, but hardly any constraint on what the private sector can do. Sky is the limit in that sense. Uh, even the sky is not the limit. <laughs> That's what the Honorable Prime Minister had said when he had integrated in space. And how many have signed up so far? Well, we have a uh, <clears throat> total of about 150 applications uh, that have come in uh, from various players. And this is uh, uh, in all domains of the space sector, including launch vehicles, satellites, payloads, ground stations, applications, all of these. Uh, and uh, as of now, we have given tremendous excitement in the private sector because now it's very clear 
that what the government did two two and a half years ago was not just sort of uh, something that that they said, but they put the weight behind it, uh, government, and really making it happen. Dr. Goenka, what kind of a role now ISRO play as more and more private players join hands? What kind of role does uh, ISRO play in uh, roping in these players and giving them that kind of uh, know-how, te technical well, know-how? Today, today the space technology uh, uh, basically is with ISRO. The technology, the infrastructure uh, and right. all these private players who are coming in, uh, they understand an aspect of technology, but not the complete end-to-end -end technology, right? So all the testing development, for example, uh, ISRO uh, allows their test centers, facilities to be made available to the private players. The expertise that ISRO has, uh, the that is made available. Uh, in fact, like for this launch, uh, we have had literally 2025 ISRO experts and in space experts that sat with the uh, Skyroot team to go through each and every item uh, of the of the launch. Would these private players be focusing only on commercial missions or would they be really interested in public interest projects as well? Well, I see private, uh, private sector obviously will be a commercial sector, right? And right. therefore they have to be doing things that will have commercial interest. But I don't think commercial interest and public interest are going to be different. Thank you very much for your time. And that was Dr. Pavan Goenka, the chairman of Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center in Space, talking to us. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.